Republican governor of Maine, Paul LePage. You know, the dog whistle, the racist dog whistle is, is broken. They're not even trying anymore. They're not even trying to hide their bigotry and their racism. Let me play for you what LePage said, um, talking to at a at a town hall to uh, a bunch of his constituents uh, constituents about the drug problem in the state of Maine. Um, I'll play it, and then you can um, <laughs> you just tell me what you think. Here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna play the audio for you. Drugs. These are guys of the name D Money, Smoothie, Shifty. Uh, these type of guys that come from Connecticut, New York, they come up here, they sell their heroin, then they go back home. Incidentally, half the time they impregnate a young white girl before they leave, which is a real sad thing. Because then we have another issue that we got to deal with down the road. We're going to make them very severe. Okay, felt. that's enough. So this is a, a an elected official at a town hall in public, unashamedly, saying that drug dealers by the name of D Money, Shifty, and Smoothie, not only are they leaving drugs in the state of Maine, but they are, they're leaving heroin in the state of Maine, but they're leaving young white girls impregnated. All right, so that's insult number one. The insult to injury, not insult to injury, insult number two was his press director releasing a statement saying that this statement was not about a particular race. This statement was about what then? What some? So here's my question. If this wasn't about race, tell me what image came to mind to all of those people giggling in the audience when he said D money and whatever the hell smoothie. I don't know anyone named smoothie or shifty, but D money for certain. If, if, if it wasn't about race, what image do you think they thought of a of a white person? Do you do you think that they thought of some mythical race neutral creature? Do you? And then number two, if it wasn't about race, uh, Governor LePage, then why would you make the emphasis to be on the poor young white girls that are getting impregnated like this? All of this in the backdrop of this insane, this asinine, politically correct world, uh, politically incorrect world that we're running headlong into with the likes of Donald Trump, where everyone wants to be free to say anything the hell they want to say without any ramifications, without any repercussions, because, hey, let's celebrate political incorrectness. This is a duly elected official, a GOP governor who hangs out with presidential candidates who has pictures with Chris Christie. He has pictures with, um, uh, there was another guy, a couple of, couple of key Republican candidates basically stirring up this Southern strategy image, this fear of black men getting young white girls pregnant, these black men drug dealers pregnant. I don't know, um, I don't know what's worse, the assertion or the play on stupidity, the, 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 the insult to our intelligence to say after you, well, actually, you know what, let me just shut up and let him speak again. And you tell me, you tell me if this is about race. Drugs. These are guys of the name D Money, Smoothie, Shifty, uh, these type of guys that come from Connecticut, New York. They come up here, they sell their heroin, then they go back home. Incidentally, half the time they impregnate a young white girl before Boom. they leave. Now, you tell me. What I get tired of people saying is, Ben, why do you make everything about race? Well, one, I don't make everything about race. Two, I would rather not have to talk about race all the damn time. But when you have stupid people, this, these, these idiotic people who are in power, it's one thing to have a Joe Blow on the side of the road call you something but these are people who are authorized to create laws when you have people like this playing a racial card like this we have no choice but to call it out we'd be foolish to sit around and say well maybe just maybe this wasn't about race maybe just maybe this was he was talking about um a white guy named d money you bring me some white guys named d money Maybe I'll concede that, but I won't ever concede the fact that he's playing directly 
to a racist sentiment because he brought up these fears of young white girls getting pregnant. Now, LePage is already in trouble. He's already facing impeachment in the state of Maine because not only is he racist, but he's he's a criminal um, in the sense that he used his gu gubernatorial authority to affect the employment of one of his political rivals. Long story short, LePage, Paul LePage, used his authority to ensure that one of his political rivals, a Democrat, would not get a contract. And because this was all exposed, there are um, impeachment conversations going on. In fact, they were considering actually starting the impeachment process this week. So now you have a, a governor who has abused his power, but just so gallivantly going into this conversation in this room with a bunch of other, uh, you, if you see the video, you can't see the video on Facebook and you can't see the video on the internet, on the uh, radio broadcast, but on YouTube, you can see the video and in a room full of gray haired white people talking about the fear of, of white young girls and how sad it is. Now that's just the one, one side of the coin. This guy managed to be both racist and misogynist in one sentence. I, I have to give him, I have to give him some props. It takes, it takes a, a level of bigotry, of, of skill, to be able to be both racist and misogynistic in one seamless, effortless sentence. Because he's playing on this idea that these young girls are powerless against these big hulking, uh, 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 um, ethnically neutral drug dealers, if you let him say it, right? That they that they are not able that they are the problem on the state and that they are not able to make these decisions on their own. So you have a whole slew of things happening, and all of this just happened like ten minutes. Uh, all of this broke ten minutes before uh, I started my show. But he said this on yesterday, and it's become national news today. So my estimation is that um, those impeachment proceedings they're probably going to see <laughs> to definitely take place now. Um, and he should be no longer a governor. But the problem is, is that we have empowered people like this to be in office. Either we've empowered them by uh, directly voting for them, or we've empowered them by not voting at all. And people like this um, here in the Northeast, right? This is this is one of our neighbors to the North. This is the liberal bastion of the Northeast. And you get such race, racist sentiments um, as this.